Okay. What I would like to explain now is that there's two types of 900 micron buffered fiber. There is the normal tight buffer, and this is what we call loose tube or easy strip buffer fiber. For these two types of fiber, there are different fiber holders. There is the 900 micron fiber holders for the tight buffer, and then there's the loose tube holders for the loose tube. The main difference between these two types of fiber is this one, the secondary coating, is completely free from the primary coating. Whereas this one, we cannot even pull it off. So this will be impossible to splice using normal fiber holders. The reason for this is if I was to load that in there, we can see that the 250 will remain loose around the 900 micron fiber. But if I was to use the loose tube holders, and if I was to load this into here, we can see that the 250 is now being held and it doesn't slip at all. If we do that as a test versus this as a test, it's going to fall. See? So the normal fiber holder cannot grip onto a loose tube fiber holder. That is why the unique loose tube fiber holder is important. Final product will be black. This is a prototype. For normal tight buffered 900 micron, we can still use the normal tight holders because this will still hold the 900 micron fiber. Thank you.